Good evening. My presentation is about reading metric del caliper with 0.02 mm graduation. As you see, this caliper is simply contains a dial, and inside the dial we have graduations, we have a pointer, and we have, let's say, the value of the resolution or the precision of this caliper. And in our case, we have a metric resolution with 0.02 mm. Regarding the applications of the dial caliper, we can simply use, use it for external measurements, for internal measurements, for depth measurements, and also for step measurements. Before start using the dial caliper, you should verify that there is no zero error at the caliper. In the photo above, as you see here, the caliper is completely closed. And inside the dial, as you see, the pointer is not aligning with the zero line graduation. So in this case, we say that we have a zero error. So in order to make the correction for this case, simply we can lose this looking screw so after loosening this locking screw, the outer frame of the dial becomes free. So you can simply rotate it in any direction. So in our case, in order to make the correction, we should rotate the outer frame this direction. So after reaching the case that the pointer is aligning with the zero line, we should close the locking screw. See that when you loosen the locking screw, the outer frame becomes free, but the pointer inside the dial stays at rest. So below, at the right, we have the correct case. As you see here, the pointer inside the dial is aligning completely with the zero line, while in the left photo, we have an offset or we have a distance between the pointer and the zero line. So this is the way how to make the zero setting of the dial caliper before using it. Let's now understand how to read the dial caliper. But before start talking about the reading of this dial caliper, we should understand the scales inside the dial. As you see here, if you count if you count for the number of divisions inside the dial, you will count for 100 graduations. So we have 100 graduation inside the dial. And simply, this is the value of the resolution or the precision of this caliper. And simply, it is 0 0.02 mm see that the meaning of the distance between these two arrows is 0 0.02 means that if we open the caliper so that the pointer moves from one line to the adjacent line inside the dial so the caliper is opened by a value of 0 0.02 so if one ask if we open the caliper so that the pointer make one full rotation how much the opening of this caliper simply we can compute for it by multiplying the 100 which is the total number of graduations of the dial by the value of the resolution which is 0.02 mm and the result is 2 mm so in this caliper if we open the caliper so that the pointer makes one full rotation, the caliper will open with a point will with two mm. So this is the way, or this is the reason why half of the graduations is the same as the second half of the graduations.
So if the pointer moves half rotation, the caliper will open with one complete amount. So this is the way how to read the pointer. So in this case, how to read the dial, as you see here, the pointer is aligning with this line. So how to read this line? In order to read this line, this line means that the distance between the zero line till this line, it is simply 0.36 a man. Simply between the zero line inside the dial till this line, the distance is 0.30. After the point theory and the pointer, we have three smallest division, and each division is simply 0.02 mm. So three divisions means 0.06. So the total reading is 0.36. So this is the reading of this dial. So in order to read the caliper totally, we should first read the main scale. The way how to read the main scale is by taking the edge of the sliding part as a reference. So the last line before this edge is line number zero. So the reading of the main scale here is zero. So the total reading of this tail caliper is simply the reading of the dial. So our reading is, is 0.36. Let's see this dial caliper here. First, let's read the main scale. So this is the reference for reading the main scale. So the last line shown before the edge of the sliding part is this line. And this line is simply line number 12 mm. -hmm. So the main scale reading is 12, and the rest of reading comes from the reading of the dial. How to read the dial? As you see, the pointer is aligning with this line. So this line is simply line 0.32. So the total reading for this caliper is 12.32 mm. What about this dial caliper? As you see here, the edge of the sliding part exceeds this line. So this is the last line on the main scale, so we should read it. So this line is line number 34. So the main scale reading is 34. So after the point, the rest of reading is the reading of the dial. As you see, the pointer is aligning with line 0.80. So the total reading is 34.80 mm. Let's read this dial caliper here. First, regarding the main scale reading, as you see here, the last line on the main scale before the edge of the sliding part is this line. So this line is line number 42. So the main scale reading is 42 mm. So what's the rest of the reading? It is simply the reading of the dial. If you check for the pointer, it is simply a line with this line and this line is 0.76. So the total reading for this dial caliper is simply 42.76 mm. What about reading this dial caliper? First of all, we should read the main scale. As you see, in order to read the main scale, we should make the reference of the 
sliding part as a reference. So the last line is line number 27. So the main scale reading for this dial caliper is 27. What about the rest of the reading? It is simply the reading of the dial. So as you see here, the pointer inside the dial is aligning with this line, and this line is line point 18. So the total reading is 27.18 amma. As you see here, all the readings we get by using this caliper contains two decimal places. And regarding the second decimal places, it should be 0 or 2 or 4 or 6 or 8. Let's see this dial caliper here. As you see, in order to read the main scale, this is the reference for reading the main scale. So it is closer to this line, and this line is line number 25. But in order to make sure that the edge is completely on this line, or it exceeds this line, or it is before this line, we should check for the location of the pointer inside the dial. So as you see here, the pointer inside the dial is aligning with the zero line. So in this case, we are sure that the edge of the sliding part is completely on this line, and this line is line number 25. So in this case, the main scale reading is 25 mm, and the reading of the dial is simply 0, 0. So the total reading is 25.00 mm. What about this reading here? Regarding the main scale, actually, we are not sure that the edge exceeds this line, and this line on the main scale is line number 49. So in order to answer for this question, we should look at the pointer inside the dial. So as you see, the pointer exceeds the line number zero. So in this case, we say that the edge exceeds line number 49 completely. So in this case, the main scale reading is 49 mm, and the rest of the reading comes from reading the dial. So as you see here, the dial, the pointer is aligning with this line, and this line is line number 0 0.08. So the total reading is 49.08 mm. Let's see this example here. The main scale reading is simply 27. And regarding the dial reading, it is 0.60 mm. So the total reading is 27.60 mm. So this is the way how to read the two scales of the dial caliper in order to get the total reading. Thanks a lot for your watching. Goodbye.